You know, really proud of our guys tonight. Um, obviously, I think we played a, a really talented Georgetown team. Coach Ewing does a tremendous job um, getting those guys to play hard and play the right way. Um, we had our hands full, obviously, with Jesse Govan. He's one of the better players in our league, and he showed that tonight, obviously. You know, he, he breathes. He just scores the ball, it seems like. Um, he makes it look so easy. But, uh, but really proud of our guys' response. You know, obviously, we got down early, and uh, I thought our guys, I could tell even in the huddle when I really challenged them, you know, they bounced right back. And I thought the 2-3 zone was really effective for us there at the end of the first half and led to some run outs, some transition points that kind of got us going and got the crowd going a little bit. Um, then our guys stayed with it. You know, we keep on focusing in on the things that you can control. You know, you can't always control whether you make, you're making or missing shots. You know, that kind of comes and goes. But you can't control your effort, your attitude. You know, we got to win the, the war on the glass, which we did, which was big against a really, really good Georgetown team that's very physical. Um, I thought we, they got up big on the glass in the early on in the first half, and then we ended up winning the, winning the war on the glass. And we did a great job taking care of the ball. You know, we only had four turnovers, which helped get our defense set, which was really important as well. But obviously, you know, it's like I, I tell our guys, you know, every game is hard in the Big East. You know, you got to celebrate every win that you get. But obviously, also, we're going to have another war here on our hands uh, coming up on Sunday against a really, really good Butler team. Coach, you mentioned that moment where you challenged them, and I think it came with, when you guys were down 17 points with like 3.30 left in the first half. Can you take us inside that huddle and, and shed some light on how you got them motivated and ready to, to respond? Seemed like we were down by about 35. I know it was 17, but like I, I felt like, you know, for us, they were crushing us on the glass. They were getting second and third shots. They were playing volleyball around the rim. Uh, again, we could control that. That's all about discipline and toughness on the glass. And I thought we changed that around. Um, but also, like, you know, just within our defensive system, that not, has nothing to do with scouting, it's just day to day stuff. I thought we were um, slipping a little bit in things man to man wise, stuff that we can control. Again, again, if, if they score the ball and they make a tough shot and we're, we're executing our defensive system, then no problem. Um, but again, I thought, uh, I thought going to zone was really good. Just challenge those guys because I told those guys, you know, adversity shows. It shows who you really are, right? That's a true test of character. And I was glad our guys responded uh, in the way they did. And I thought we were the aggressors from there, then on out in the entire game. Tyreek and um, Zach, so they've been bugging you to play them together at the same time. And today, both getting double-doubles, are you more apt to do that? Or was it a Georgetown-specific, uh, personnel-specific thing? You know, I think we can do it, Shannon. I, you know, obviously we were shorthanded without Q today, but like I thought, I thought it was a really good look for us. You know, we've been working offensively, kind of how to be able to play with those two guys together. Um, the spacing's a lot different. You know, you know, all of a sudden, you know, because we, we had mainly we played we played with four guards obviously the entire year, and I thought shorthanded, but we've been working on playing with two bigs probably the last two to three weeks. Kind of, we just haven't done it yet, um, but we stayed out of foul trouble too for the most part. Those guys did, and that's like I told them, like in order to play you two guys, because we only got two bigs, we don't have any anybody else there's not a third big that we can rotate in there and, and, and give them you know a sub you know Zach got you know, picked up his third I think with about 11 minutes to go or something in the, in the second half maybe 12 minutes in the second half so we took him out and then we put him back in at the under eight um, but if those guys can stay out of foul trouble um, Tyreek gave me the confidence quite honestly to play two bigs you know I told him I challenged him a couple days ago like we need him to stand up He's better than he's played at this point in the Big East season. And I'm not just going to give it to him. He had to earn it. You know, he had two really, really, really good practices, probably the two best practices he's had in over a month. You know, he's been out a lot dealing with, you know, either sicknesses or injuries and different things like that. He hadn't practiced, I'd say, max 40% of the time over the last three weeks. So his conditioning's been, you know, a little bit bad, not as good as what it needs to be. And I thought he responded in the right way in practice. And therefore, we were able to really play with those two big guys. And I thought they both did a great job. So I do think it's a look moving forward, obviously, that we want to keep. And wh what's the latest on Q? How's his knee? It's day to day. Um, he went through shoot around today, and you know, again, it didn't quite feel right, and uh, so it's just going to be kind of day to day, and we'll just kind of see how it is uh, when we practice on uh, on Friday. Get all these days mixed up. Travis, I, I know you're not going to make it about you because you're you're the coach, and this is a team thing. But how much did you need this just to see that things are working with how much work you are putting in with this team every single day to get a win? You know, I think I really didn't need it. You know, like I get it's, good. it's a good win. I was proud of our guys. I think, like, you know, for me, it's just about the next game mentality. It's about just I just want to continue to see growth, continue to see fight. I want our guys to play with a ton of effort, a ton of energy, and focus on again on the things that we can control. And I thought our guys did that in practice. The energy level in practice is great every single day. Our guys bring it. 
our guys bring it. And I was really proud of that. Like I said, the response that we had today when we got down by 17 there in the first half, that's the response that we need. Uh, Travis, how much better do you think this team can be? And is there a point in every season where a team just essentially is what it is? You've got that identity no matter what it is. But first of all, how much better can this team be? I think we I think we have a lot of room for growth. I really do. I you know, I think you look at our guys, you know, we, we have a lot of new guys and a lot of new guys in roles compared to the last year. So I think there's a lot of room for growth with our team. Uh, I think defensively we've gotten tons better. We really have. And I think rebounding wise we're getting better. And the, the turnover thing for us has been kind of the uh, has been the Achilles heel of our team, I think, to this point in the year. And if, if we can clean that up, which we did tonight, it's gonna we're Again, you can't, you can't start to focus on the things you can't control, like making or missing shots, right? And again, it's like I told our guys, like we will be in games. If we take care of the ball, we win the glass, win the war on the glass. If we do those two things, we'll have a shot. And again, it's just about having, keeping that, you know, that positive energy at practice, even when things go bad, even if you take a loss. You know, learn from it, or you can show film. I think there's a lot of growth for our team here moving forward. Uh, Travis, yesterday you talked about 11 turnovers or less being your big emphasis there. You guys only have four tonight. Can you talk about how proud you are of that, how big that was for your team tonight? It needs to be that way every game. I'd love four turnovers every game. I, I thought uh, that was huge because Georgetown plays like, like, like the floor's tilted. They play downhill. They're, I think they're the 11th fastest team in the country pace of play on offense. So we had to really take care of the ball. And I think, again, I was really proud even with no Quentin out there. Paul did a great job. I think he ended up with five assists, maybe one or four assists, one turnover. He had ten points, five rebounds. You know, he's like a Swiss Army knife. You know, he just does a little bit of everything out there. Um, but our guys did a great job taking care of the ball because that, that number one allows us to get a shot, right? And then allows us to be a really good offensive rebounding team and allows you to be able to get your floor balance so we can get our defensive set. So that 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 to me is the number one key to our team. And uh, looking at the box score, we see Najee and Paul played forty minutes tonight. Is that just because Q is out, or is that part of a kind of a game plan for this game? You know, I, I'm, I, we're going to play the guys that I think are going to help us win in that moment. You know, I didn't think there was a moment where I could take out Paul and Najee. Um, I thought they both were playing hard. They didn't ask to be taken out. Sometimes you'll see Tyreek will raise that hand I and mean, he needs to come out. He starts kind of shaking his head. You can kind of tell when he gets tired. Um, but Najee and Paul are warriors. Those guys are warriors. They compete every single possession. They're everything our program's about. Uh, what about the role of Elias uh, Harden this evening? He did a great job. He did a great job when his number was called tonight. You know, I thought he uh, he brought a ton of energy on the defensive end in our zone. He played hard. He saw things because Georgetown was doing a great job attacking our zone. You know, they started ball screening a lot up top to try to get you know high lows down to Jesse Govan and isolate him in the low post. Uh, Coach Ewing did a great job kind of with their offensive game plan. But Elias could sniff out a lot of things. He saw things happening, and he did a great job making the in-game adjustments that we were making defensively on that end. Really well. Obviously made a couple threes as well. He was ready to shoot the ball, yeah. which is good to see. I think that's where it starts, what I tell those guys all the time. Like, when the ball hits your hands, you got a second. You don't have two seconds. <laughs> you got to be able to make a quick decision. This game, it's a fast game, and I thought he was ready, he was aggressive, and he was confident, and we need that from him. You mentioned uh, Georgetown's rebound numbers, which were great. Their free throw numbers were off the charts coming in, and you flipped that number on them. We did. I thought we were really aggressive getting to the paint, you know, on, on drives and post-ups and offensive, on the offensive glass. We did a great job getting to the paint, so we were drawing a lot of contact. And then I think on the other end, when we went zone, sometimes, you know, they, we were going to give up some threes. Um, but I thought for the most part, it kept us out of foul trouble. Was this the, the toughest that you think you've seen your team play so far this season? I think so. I think so. You know, like the response we had at DePaul was really good to see when we got down late in the second half. Um, I think we were down by six with about five minutes to go. I called timeout, and I thought our huddle was really good. I just love the resolve of, of our guys tonight. You know, I thought, again, the toughness that Zach Hankins and, and Tyreek Jones you know, provided us around the rim, uh, Najee and Paul uh, on the perimeter, just attacking style basketball. Um, yeah, I, th I think it is. And that that huddle where you got kind of fiery with your guys, looking back into their eyes, did you see that they might have that response in them? Did you see kind of a, a reaction that that you liked? Yeah, you, uh, obviously, Adam, you got to know who you're talking to. I think always, you know, you got to know your audience. When you can, you know who kind of who you can get on, who you can't, right? And and uh, Paul's always going to respond. 
Tyreek's going to respond. Um, th those guys, I could hear them in the huddle. They, after I kind of maybe, you know, was a little confrontational with them, you know what, they were still talking. So usually that's a good sign. When guys are silent, they go radio silent, it's a bad sign. Um, so again, I thought we still had a really good huddle. You know, even towards the end when we broke our huddle, I thought, you know what, we're going we're to be right back in this thing if we just stick with it. Because it's a game of 40 minutes. You can't get too high or too low. Um, it's not, you know, the winter. It's not a 20-minute game. You know, we just focus on that next war. Um, there's 10 four-minute wars. We want to win each one. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.